Hello, I'm Mark Cuevas, and this is New Media Weekly. I have the pleasure of speaking with Jeff Koenig, who is the creator and founder of OMF Geek. In watching the medium grow, mm -hmm. what has been the single, the single element that has surprised you the most? Well, I think what's surprised me and been disappointing is just the reluctance to put more money into the space and fun premium content. You know, you do have branded entertainment is a bigger thing now than it, it was. And there's some great branded shows out there. Um, the networks more or less have, have kind of dabbled, but they haven't really committed to putting any kind of serious money in there because they can't make it back right now, yeah. which, you know, creates an opportunity for independent creators because they're, they're not fighting for their attention against uh, original productions from, you know, Fox or NBC for the most part. Uh, but that said, uh, there's also been a reluctance uh, on the advertisers part to put a lot of money into uh, funding content uh, which I think is is completely surprising because they need premium content I mean for all the video that's online right now uh, most of it you can't run ads against uh, no, and brand friendly. yeah it's not yeah. it's not brand friendly it's not high quality it's it's even if it can draw an audience it's not necessarily the kind of audience that the brand wants to advertise against so it's in their best interest to make sure that there is as much premium content out there uh, a, a, as possible. I, I feel part of that in observation is that because there's such a large audience, I feel that the sponsors and the people who are running the larger companies feel that you could toss anything out and because there's such a large viewership or what they, you know, from YouTube and such, they feel it doesn't matter to a certain degree. It, the <sighs> Advertiser sen uh, sentiments are changing, and the, the ad side of the industry is going through uh, a large period of growth. I mean, it, it, in some ways, it still is all about view count, but there is a, a, a there's a shift happening where uh, ROI is becoming synonymous with ROE, which is return on engagement. Right. Uh, and what brands are starting to care about more is not just a naked raw view count, which you know, there's tons of ways to right, you can to secure that. <laughs> but but what's more, you know, ultimately they're in the business of getting they're in the business of advertising to people who buy their stuff. Right. Uh, so a billion people watching it but never buying anything is only of uh, it has a more limited value than a smaller engaged audience who is interacting with the brand and and uh, promoting them and actually going to the store and buying the products. So they're they're beginning to kind of shift away from saying, well, we have a gajillion people watching this. No one's buying anything but a gajillion eyes. Now it's becoming more sort of that we have a substantially smaller audience, but they're really into what's going on. And An active engaged it. audience is far more important, I think, to a brand and is something that original online content can deliver in a way that no other medium has ever been able to. Uh, uh, you know, you can't get the same kind of engagement around a brand message through a TV show interacting, you know, with the audience interacting with a commercial uh, or through radio or through print, uh, newspapers. Uh, that happens at the intersection of video and social media.